Good afternoon and welcome to another fine guest video production this Sunday, the 30th of August, 1998, for the Geelong District Football League live at St Albans. Ron Brain, Noel Fanning, Jason Doherty, and of course the man from Buckley's, Peter Walker, bringing you a kick by kick description this afternoon of the first semi final between Eastern Suburbs and Thompson. And as I speak, the Eastern Suburbs Eagles have arrived on the arena, led by Adam Sheridan. What's good that? afternoon downstairs to, I think, Jason Doherty downstairs this afternoon. Yes, good afternoon, Ron. I'm at, actually out in the middle of uh, St Albans Reserve uh, on what is a fantastic day for football. Eastern Suburbs and Thompson, as you said, both out on the ground and uh, both look fairly pumped up for this first semi-final. Obviously, the winner through to meet uh, Bannockburn next Saturday in the preliminary final and the loser is out so it should be a fantastic afternoon for football. We've got uh, three umpires once again this afternoon. Simon Flowers, Ben Hallett and Cameron Duthie doing the honours for us this afternoon so Peter and you should be able to get stuck both uh, both stuck into all of them. Just ask Cameron what time did you get home last night? Cameron what, what time did you get home last night? Ron wants to know. Uh, about 3, 3.30 something like that. About 3, 3.30 so good preparation for the game then. <laughs> <laughs> <That's Jason. laughs> we'll have the toss of a coin in a minute, boys. Jason, while you're out there, mate, I'm very interested to see. Uh, it looks pretty hard out there in the centre. It is very firm, actually, and uh, not a lot of grassed areas in the uh, in the middle. The cricket pitch area is quite dusty, so I would think that uh, underneath there is pretty firm. And uh, obviously, the centre square, the actual centre square, centre circle has been moved over a little bit, so uh, I would think it's pretty firm in here. And the big boys might have a uh, little bit of trouble with the uh, the ankles and the uh, the Achilles. I think today. So, Jace, what you're telling me is, if you won the toss, you'd bowl. I think so. It's pretty firm out here. Good afternoon, Peter Walker. How are you, Ronald? Yeah, terrific, mate. And I notice uh, on page 25 of the program, you've suggested that Eastern Suburbs by 31 points. Mate, I slipped over to Buckley's and whacked a trifecta on. I've gone for Richmond to beat Melbourne, Melbourne Storm to beat uh, Sydney City, <laughs> and Eastern Suburbs to beat Thompson. Well, good luck, mate. And uh, if you do uh, bring home the bacon, just let me know and I'll help you enjoy the winning, sir. <laughs> well, Billy Sheridan's there, Mick. Uh, I mean, Jason, where's uh, where's the uh, big Trev? Oh, yeah, here he comes. Trevor comes over now to do the toss of the coin. Who's tossing the coin? Cameron's going to toss the coin. You'll be able to after a 3.30 start. Ask Trevor how he's feeling, uh, Jace. No, I'm not. You wuss. <laughs> do it again. Come on, boys, work it out. Eastern Suburbs are calling. Heads is called. And it is heads. King to the northern end. Eastern Suburbs in the first term. So the northern or city end in the first term. Eastern Suburbs will be kicking. And Jason, is that just favouring the... The breeze would be just favouring the northern end? Yeah, maybe a couple of goals. So they want to start with the wind. OK. OK, thank you very much, Jason Doherty. Uh, the ground, around the groundsman, live out there uh, in the middle of St Albans. Noel Fanning, I noticed that... Uh, Jumping on the camera, mate, if you want a selection, I'm happy to do it right now. Yes, and uh, you're sort of very versatile today, being uh, Director of Proceedings and also Cameraman. I am so, and I'm going to go for the side. Now, something I am, I am very pleased with today, uh, Thompson have got the white shorts on. Yesterday it was very difficult to pick the sides up later in the afternoon with both having coloured shorts. Yes, I know, I know Bannockburn wore black, but one side should have had white shorts on yesterday. I, I tell you what, Noel, white doesn't really do do the Thompson side that good for some of the guys that are a bit broad. You're talking about uh, number 10? Number 10, that's the one. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair enough, I, 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 I'm with you. Now I'll, put, I'll give my headsets to uh, Jason and I'll give you my quick selection for the afternoon and it's not going to be hard to work out who I'm going for. Jason's a, an all Eastern Suburbs man so I know who he's going for. I'm going to go for Thompson by uh, three points. Okay, thanks very much Noel and uh well, mate, the best team win here this afternoon, and uh, well, whatever happened uh, during the home and away games, really, we've got to forget about Jason. We could talk about it, but really, as we've seen so far with the Geelong District Football League finals, that what has happened in the past doesn't mean one one bit of uh, really uh, notice because. Like well, we saw yesterday. Yesterday, Batty where his centrals had been belted both times this season by Bannockburn, ten goals plus, but uh, doesn't make much difference in finals footy. No, it certainly doesn't. And what a great game! And uh, congratulations to uh, those two clubs, uh, Bannockburn and Eastern Suburbs, for providing such a, a great game of Australian rules football here in the second semi-final yesterday. And That's I can an tell you, I saw Billy Sheridan. I saw the fire in his eyes. He wasn't too happy. Actually, the first time they tossed, both players called heads. Trevor and Billy. He wasn't too happy. I think he knew it was his call and he called heads again and uh, he's kicking to the northern end so he's pretty pumped up I think the coach. 
Yeah, certainly, and if he can start like he did uh, last week uh, in that uh, elimination final, I'd suggest that Thompson, uh, you know, might have their hands full. I'm sure, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing who's got the task of picking up Adam Sheridan this afternoon. Well, it's interesting, guys, that you you make the uh, the comment that there's no no real difference when it comes to a final, but something that I do think that sticks out a little bit clearing, and that's the eastern suburb side, do have a better percentage, and it's by way of the, their their spearheads they do seem to convert a lot more, so they're getting more more goals on the board. Now I know it's a beautiful day, um, that could lead to them having the opportunity and the guys up forward to kick a a winning score. And uh, it's an interesting observation, Peter Walker. I see Darren Shapter's in the side too for uh, Thompson this afternoon, so he's been struggling with a bit of injury, and uh, he is in the side. So, Peter, I've told you to rub 53 out, put you're him back on. You're unbelievable. <laughs> wow. Well, interesting to see here who has been omitted. Well, 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 David Burke's <laughs> coming to the bench. It looks like Trevor Tucker's coming to the bench, maybe also. And Darren Shapter might be there, I don't know, just Shapter's on the bench. Fano inside info, Shapter's on the bench. He said that pretty quick. Uh, Trevor Tucker might just be. <laughs> yeah, you could Fanning's see, on a wing. You could see see Tucker probably, if he does start on the bench, it'd be because they just give him five minutes for the sting to get out of the game. I think. They have changed their side around a lot, Thompson. Uh, Peter, who are you going for this afternoon? Eastern Suburbs by 13 points. Eastern Suburbs by 13 points. He's, he's changed a bit since the start of the week when I asked him. No, no, uh, they must have got the numbers, got the numbers mixed up. Okay, yeah. fair enough. Well, I think Eastern Suburbs might just win. It's got nothing to do with me being in Eastern Suburbs either. I just think a goal or two. If Fano, if you want to start that, we'll start something. Don't worry about that. We'll get going if you want to start something like that. I've been longer at Eastern Suburbs than you will ever be at Thompson, so don't worry about that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Just you stick to the red and black. You stick to the red and black. You stick to Newtown. And you over here, you shut up too. Yeah, no, I'm not going to say we're... Uh, look, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah, more clubs than Greg Norman, this bloke. All I hope is that it's going to be a great contest. So I'm I. sure it will I'm be. I'm looking forward and, to it. Uh, yeah, I am looking forward to it. And uh, congratulations to the men in white for their appointments here this afternoon. They'll have their hands full, I'm sure. Yes, Simon Flowers, Cameron Duthie and Ben Hallett this afternoon. Peter and... Uh, Paul Welsh will be looking after the huddles at uh, the ver at various stages throughout the afternoon. Yeah, we've sent the taxi down to get Welsh out of the lyric. <laughs> <laughs> I think you got. And I tell you what, we'll we'll be able to find out whether Cameron Duthie did get home at three o'clock too, by the first couple of steps he takes, just to see and make sure he's okay. Better not have. But uh, we see Aaron Bradley starting on the wing on this side for Thompson against Matty Hobbs. Daniel Fanning on the other side against uh, looks like it might be Troy Sheehan. In the middle, it's Sheridan, Reuter, Peters. And the umpire has the ball in hand. That's umpire Hallett. He puts it up for the start of the first semi-final. It's going to be Timmy Gardner with the first possession. He gets one high, but the goal jumps off a couple of tackles. Gets a high tackle in the end. And quick kick towards Ardo at centre-half forward. Runs away. Good speed by Ardo. It seems to have recovered after that heavy knock last week. Goes for the first goal inside 30 seconds. He's missed it. And one by one. A quick start for the Tigers. Yeah, great work there from Glenn Wilkins. The big ruckman for Thompson. Leapt exceptionally high first bounce. And uh, clear winner. First touch of the leather for the first semi this afternoon. Now, let's have a look. Who's bringing the ball back into play? It looks like Johnny Stefanovsky. Yes, he elects to keep the ball low. It's a nice-looking kick. Good 55 metres out the outer side of uh, St Albans Reserve. Paddled forward. That was good play, Paddy Burns. Looking there for the run of Dan Fanning here, the number 10 Guernsey. Paddles it back in board, but the Eagles are there. Good work, Reuter. Paddles it out very wide, but Humphrey from Thompson swoops on it. Left foot kick. Good vision and picks out Stevie Sherwell. He wastes no time from 50. Sees the run there of Aaron Bradley. Picks it up, but oh, he's shot at goal. Not a good one. He's missed the woodwork completely. And the penalty free kick to be taken by the suburbs in the right back pocket. And as predicted by yours truly, Atchison has got the job on Loughton. So that should be an absolutely fantastic con contest at centre-half forward and centre-half back. And Ronnie, Ronnie Berris is down here and said if you give a biased, biased uh, report against Thompson, you're dead meat. <laughs> <laughs> well, just... <laughs> <laughs> Stefanovski goes from the back pocket, goes up towards Hobbs, goes up, can't take the mark. Ferguson in support, can break away, go on the left boot, wide open, spaces on centre wing. O'Leary comes down from half four. That's Sean, leads in the race. Bradley breaks that tackle and get the uh, little kick over the top to Sheridan. Good play in the middle this afternoon. Billy to start off with goes towards Intervong with a handball. Good one too. So Armstrong chops it off. Good play by the centre half back comes across, into Vong, got a high tackle, will get a free kick. Yeah, good commitment for the ball. Should be 50 metres as well, I'd suggest. And into Vong, oh, here we go, Fano started already. Into Vong on centre wing, short little kick to Reuter, picks it up, 
Okay, the big man runs away, goes with the right boot long. Good kick too for distance. Stevenson from behind can't take the mark play on. And they're going to be able to break away here. The uh, Tigers, Stein misses it. O'Leary next to him. He's got support though. Wolfenden gets it with the right boot, goes wide towards Fanning. Foot race between him and also getting out there is Sheehan. And Fanning can break away, can he? Yes, he can. Backs himself, takes a bounce, runs on the centre wing on the outer side now, measures the pass beautifully towards Highland. Can he pick it up on the half volley? He can't at the first attempt, taps it on, goes again, needs some support. Right next to him, Watson. Could, could have been a free kick for a high tackle there. It is now, and it's going to go to Eastern Suburbs. And Dean Watson will take it at half back. Yeah, interesting inclusion for the Suburbs side. Played in the reserves last week. No, he played in the seniors last Did week. He? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Must have been his brother. One of the old okay. stages. Okay. Go okay, sure. <laughs> and find Shane Bailey, who I'm sure will lift from last week's effort as we see the kick, a nice one. Drop short, but oh, Mick O'Leary traps it well. Hand pass was good to Loughton under pressure. Lost the football, but there's numbers at the ball. O'Leary's kick, though, well smothered by Paddy Burns. The second effort, O'Leary, OK. Kick, not a good one. Wobbles up to where the direction of the sandal man into the long, <laughs> but he was held without the footy and should get the free kick at half forward and drive the Eagles into attack. Into Vong now. Lead on from Stevenson and Camarado. Camarado short. Good kick. Good pass. Good mark. And he's taken that centre half forward. Glenn Elliott got the job on yep. Camarado this afternoon. Some big matchups. Black armbands. Good, good, good question. Could be wearing the blue again, are they? I'll find out for you, man. Thanks, Peter. Camarado from 50, straight in front. With a bit of a breeze behind him, he's pushed it to the uh, near side, and oh, Wilkins has nearly knocked the old point post over, Lee Matthews style, but it's three for one behind, and scores level. Yes, one, one point uh, apiece. One point apiece, Jason, and uh, it's your great crowd again, witnessing the action here at St Albans. You you're there, man? Yep. Yes, please. Yeah, it's um, Sabuli Armstrong's uh, father passed away. Okay, so that's Sabuli kicking out now for... Thompson and a good roost too goes wide towards Fanning, makes up the ground and takes a good diving mark at half back on the outer side. Bade Sunshine here, St Norman's Reserve this afternoon. He goes towards Burns, good kick and finds him at true half back position. He plays on now. The co coach goes towards Sherwell on centre wing, takes the mark in front of the hands of Michael O'Leary. Handball back to Fanning, runs off half back, can take a bounce and create some play in the middle. Goes towards centre half foot looking for Cowan. Ferguson got the job in him this afternoon. Good punch away by Fergie. Cowan though, breaks away. Plugger, handball, good hands two to Highland. He breaks away from Marcus, does he? No, but he gets a handball back. Good second effort by Cowan and tries to hit Gardner on the chest. Can't do so. Watson and Gardner, they go at it. Gardner's got it. Breaks away from a couple of tackles Ooh. and gets his head. Absolutely collected. The umpire says play on. And he gets a kick away. Good play. Goes to Ardo. Can't take the mark. Shorty Peters is back there. Goes right, goes left, then the hands to Ferguson. On the right foot, wobbly kick towards half back. Bradley should be able to punch it away. Hobbs, good play to Sheridan. They've got the numbers that should be play on advantage. It is. Billy Sheridan's got it at half back. Yeah, and away the dasher goes. Three bounces, four bounces. Highland, the spud. It's really sizzling at the minute as the ball sizzles up the half forward. Camarado paddles it forward. Good footy from the big eastern suburb side. But again, Woffa does nicely in defence and goes wide. Kicks to Aaron Bradley at centre wing. Bradley's kick now, a high ball. Looks there for Rowan, comes out. Couldn't see the ball in the sunshine, dropped it. Now Stefanovski tried to burst his way through. Good tackle, Steve Ardo. Wrapped him up nicely. And uh, umpire Hallett will bounce down uh, just a forward of centre wing with Thompson into attack in this first quarter. We've been going at six and a half minutes. Neither oh, Ruckman get an effective tap. O'Leary through the middle, got one high. Could have got a free kick. None forthcoming, Peters. And the umpire says it's his ball. So he'll do it again. Second effort by the umpire at half forward. Reuter to do the ruck work against Sherwell. Good ball up. Sherwell gets a push in the back. No free kick. Reuter's there. Highland ripped off the footy. Gardner's in there working hard again. Quick hands to Ardo. Ardo's kick smothered by uh, Dean Watson. And uh, Watson and Gardner get up. And it'll be a boundary throw in right in front of the guest commentary box here on half forward. <laughs> boundary throw in now. <laughs> Sherwell, down to the front, Hobbs can't take it with him, kick quickly out of the pack, Evans now into Vong, who's had a few early touches, can break away, get a kick away just in front of Burns, goes towards Camarado at half forward, Loughton comes out, can't pick it up, Camarado through the middle now, Atchison's back there, loses his feet, Wilkins, Atchison does well, look at that, scoops it back and they're away, Peacock gives it across to Armstrong, Armstrong from half back towards Burns, um, Evans has got the job on him this afternoon, he does well, he's got some support, Sheen if he can get it to him, Burns does well, two against one, gets his head ripped off and gets a free kick just on the defensive side of centre wing. Yep. 
Paddy Burns been very uh, constructive early stages. Got it across to Wolfenden, who standing start goes bang. Ardo, the high flyer, beats two eagles there and takes the foot in out out of side centre wing. Waste no time. Kick very wide of Cowan, but he's got it on the half folly. Beats the tackle of Ferguson. Has a bounce, the big man. He said, Bailey, get out of me way, sunshine. And shoots that goal. But he's oh, not oh, oh, fly as he he's kicked, kicked it. kicked it. Sensational <laughs> football, Mark Cowan. And what a goal. Oh, oh dearie me. How was Shade Bailey feeling? <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the wobbliest kick you've ever seen, but it's landed in the goal square and bounced through. And the first goal on the board. Thompson 117. They lead Eastern Suburbs one behind. GDFL Raiders Bingo Centre first quarter scoreboard. Yeah, pretty inspiring stuff, that. And if that doesn't uh, get the adrenaline pumping, nothing will. Great individual effort, Mark Cowns, the centre half forward here this afternoon. And deeper sympathy to Scott Ferguson, who's got the arduous task of trying to control him. <laughs> <laughs> so did I. Back in the middle, Wilkins, Reuter gets it down, Peters through the middle, good ruck and roving play there, goes towards an half forward, Lout in front, two taps and takes the mark, O'Leary goes wide for him, now Stevenson gives him a lead, he puts it out in front of Mocker, Mocker can't take the mark, good play at the back there by Elliott, handball away, gets a push in the back from Camarotto, Camarotto got three Tigers around him, breaks the tackle, the banana goes with the right boot, but he's missed it to the side, and one behind, he's second. Just a little bit of lack of vision on Paul Camarotto's part, then he had Sean O'Leary, loose, in the pocket and elected to hurriedly shoot at goal. Two points, Eastern Suburbs. 117 Thompson. Armstrong, the full back for the Thompson side, elects to go to the outer side of the ground. Quick hands was good to O'Leary. Now, O'Leary's hand pass put uh, Camerano under a bit of pressure. He paddled it forward. Now, Loughton picks it up. Ooh, got flattened as he kicked the ball. Loose ball spills to where we see Highland. Good vision goes short to centre half back and find uh, Sherwell. Sherwell. Flows with the hand pass to Burns, and I think you'll find there's been an infringement against Aaron Bradley in the centre of the ground, and it'll go the way of Mick O'Leary for the Eagles. O'Leary's kick now, a lovely penetrating drop punt. Loughton just sloping across half forward, takes the easiest of chess marks in front of Andrew Atchison. Kicking from a good 60 metres. Very congested foot line, no movement either. There's a bit of a lead now. O'Leary, good lead, and he keeps moving. Camerato, it's ignored. Loughton's elected to go long. It's oh. a beautiful kick of the football. Top red Loughton. He has an absolute beauty. Great goal from the spearhead for the suburbs, and they're back in front. Early time check on the promoted trophy and clothing company time clock. Ten and a half minutes, Jason, at the first quarter. And, uh, and that's on the GDFL Raiders Bingo Centre first quarter scoreboard. It is. Good kick by Loughton, and I still can't understand how the umpire have, how umpires haven't given him a vote in the best and fairest this year. I've got no idea. Back in the middle. Umpire Duthie throws the ball up. It's going to favour Reuter. Gets a tap down towards Mick O'Leary. Off one step. Gets a kick towards half forward. Coming onto it, Sheridan. Coming out, Atchison backs himself. Gets one high. Should have got a free kick. And the umpire says it's his. Sheridan doing the tackling there and Loughton gets up ball up just outside 50 at half forward for the Eagles attacking with this northern end in the first turn Marcus does the ruck work gets it down to Troy Sheehan he gets a handball away to nobody in particular Atchison's there under pressure going to fall towards O'Leary coming at it and backing himself as Peacock got one high should get a free kick and does and Peacock now will turn around and look long will he Sherwell gives him a lead. So, to, so does Bradley. He goes in the direction of Sherwell, up against the uh, smaller Evans. Good punch away there by Evans. Roving by Bradley. Loses the footy. Mick O'Leary breaks away. Gets the handball towards Intervong. Breaks one tackle. Goes with the right boot. Tries to measure the pass towards Loughton again. Second attempt play on it. Was touched off Atchison, uh, Atchison's hands. He goes for goal, and he's just missed one behind. So the ones and the twos doing the uh, goal and point scoring for Eastern Suburbs. Camarado has two behinds. And Loughton won one in their score of 139. I must say, there wasn't much in that Loughton shot on it, though. A little bit of a uh, misfortune from an eagle point of view. Well, Bradley, high flyer, back of the pack, couldn't take it. But quick hands there was good from, uh, that was Stein. Got it to Bradley, but lost the ball. And the Eagles now an opportunity to throw. Sean O'Leary slams it on his boot from 35 metres. But he's just offline again. And uh, another minor score on the board to the eastern suburb side. They now move to 
4-10. Thompson 1-1-7. GDFL Raiders bingo centre. First quarter scoreboard. Wolfenden kicks in. Looks for the member side for oh, a good mark too is Elliot. And he takes a good mark in the pack. From half back now will move the Tigers forward. Goes towards the wing. Atchison up late. And Loughton. Oh, Atchison. <laughs> good mark. Fourth in line. Took the grab on centre wing. He goes towards uh, Highland and O'Leary. They both get a hand to it. Intervon comes through, leaves it behind. O'Leary's there. Paddles it in front. Goes towards Fanning and Sheridan. Sheridan's there now. And got a bit of time. Goes with a long kick towards half forward. Loughton getting back there. Goes up. Can't take the mark in a second attempt through Peters. Oh, bit high there. Gets it back short. He goes wide. Only as far as Stein, though. Quick kick around the corner by Burns. Bradley. Hobbs. Ardo in support now, standing start. Goes with a handball on the outside, good too. And finds Peacock. Goes towards centre wing, Gardner. Watson, go up. Highland, Rove's on the side. And he's got it now, Sputter. Goes towards half forward, Humphrey and Bailey. They go towards the boundary line, close. Humphrey's got it in now, he sees it over. And it will be a boundary throw in. At half four, just outside 50 with the Tigers attacking. Umpires letting proceedings go and uh, just paying the obvious, which, uh, well, it is a final and... Uh, yeah, players uh, just testing each other out early stages of this first semi-final. The cutthroat final for GDFL 40 and 98 as we see the loose ball from that throw-in. It's a good 60 metres now from Thompson's goal. Highland under pressure, all wrapped up there by Stefanovski. And uh, it also looks like Eugene, Marcus it is, who is a bit of a fine for the suburbs. From South Barwon originally, playing there this year at the Eagles. Reuter gets it down to Sheehan, who's ripped off the footy. And held to him, so it will be a ball up once again. At half forward, it's 1-1 playing 1-4 Eastern Suburbs with a three-point lead. First semi-final this afternoon. Winner through to play Bannockburn in the preliminary final. Loser out. Reuter gets it there down to Aaron Bradley, who's absolutely mauled by three Eagles. And held to him the footy. Will be a ball up. Right in front of the commentary box. Even Ronnie can get a good look at this one. There's no tarp in the way. <laughs> Goes up. Gardner gets it down in the end. Ardo with pace. Bradley, fresh air shot. Ardo once again off the ground. Bailey comes at it, backs himself. Support. Evans goes to Rowan. Can handball on the outside to Fanning. Pretty good in this situation, Fanning. Goes around on the right foot. Kicks the goal. Oh, oh he's hit, hit the, the post. post. Ooh, one behind. Very dangerous. Bring back memories, Noel. <laughs> <laughs> You're a halfback flanker. <laughs> back pocket. Fullback. Didn't have a lot of time there, but no, he did pretty well the ball end. nicely yeah. back. And uh, not quite getting through the big sticks. As Sheridan now brings the ball back into play. Looks there to Marcus. Bottom of the pack there was Cowens, but uh, his hand pass intercepted there by Intervon. Gave it back to uh, Marcus. He goes up looking for O'Leary. Overruns the ball. Kicked off the carpet. Good work there from Shorty Peters. Now the loose ball at half forward. Atchison, cool on the crisis. Good Picks kick. up and a lovely kick finds uh, Bradley, who's been busy. And Burns running down half forward. And kicks it long on the left foot. Back of the pack there was uh, Bailey. But oh, it's Fanny who sharks the ball. Shoots at goal. But he's hooked this one a little too far. Notice Mark Cowan's <laughs> coming off, guys, and yeah. Trevor Cupper, Tucker's coming onto the ground. So we see Cowan he's coming looping off. Looping a bit. Yeah. Tucker on. And uh, it will be a boundary thrown in the left forward pocket. Trevor with the familiar jog now, the bad knees. <laughs> yes, thrown in. The ground is very hard, yeah. too, so yeah. it'll be a test for him. Reuter tries to get it over the back. He does so in the end. Ferguson gets it. From the pack, goes wide, Sherwell makes up a bit of ground. He's got Burns in support against Mick O'Leary. Burns, Shepherds, short, Sherwell, okay. Fanning takes the mark, can play on quickly, go towards centre-half forward, and Tucker just on the ground gets his first possession, gets the mark. Was going to go with the hands. Now has to, goes towards Timmy Gardner, runs backwards, 10 metres, and then gets a kick around the corner to Armstrong. Over his head, but he's got a bit of time. It sits for him nicely. He goes at half forward, Sabuli. Can he kick it from 50 to centre-half back? He goes long. And it will end up in Rick Humphrey's arms if he can take the mark, and he can. Just caught napping a little bit there, uh, the Eagles. Half back line there. And Sir Pooley Armstrong, uh, great uh, push there from centre half back. Uh, covered a lot of ground, and uh, well, he's found Rick Humphrey now in the left forward pocket. He's no more than 15 metres from goal, but the angle is pretty tight. Humphrey now, Bailey standing the mark, he walks in and kicks the goal. Rick Humphrey, he's first and Thompson reclaimed the lead, they're 2-2-14.
Yeah, and Menon. Menon, I think yep. uh, Mark Cow might have strained a left hamstring. Mm. He's done a Matera. Maybe run, that run around the wing was a little far. <laughs> <laughs> so, Thompson, 2 2 14. And they lead us. And so it was 1 4 10, GDFL Raiders Bingo Centre. First quarter scoreboard. Ron, how long have we been playing in this first term? Yeah, 18 minutes gone, Jason, of this first quarter. Bought was by the promoter Trophy and Clothing Company. Thank you to Pam and David Glover for all your uh, caps, jackets and uh, trophy requirements. Pam and Dave Glover of Promoted Trophy and Clothing Company. Wilkins gets it down on this occasion towards Burns. Went back to Wilkins. Slick hands towards Tucker through the middle. Armstrong again. Hands to... Was going to go to Ardo. He elected to go with a tumbling punt towards centre-half forward. Getting across there and going away as Watson at centre-half back. Streams through now. Goes with a short kick over the head of Sheridan. Past Burns. Coming out at Hobbs. Burns again. Wrapped up. Hobbs rips the footy away from him. Gives it to the big man, Roy. He can run through the middle and set something up. Goes long. Atchison in front of Loughton and takes a good mark. That will be an absolute crackerjack battle this, yes, this afternoon. Yes, uh, about line ball at the minute. Yep. Maybe Loughton just, but uh, this time Atchison goes out wide. Not a good kick there from uh, the big fella uh, in Royder, but he's back out there fighting for his side, as he always does. He's quick kick now up there looking for uh, Loughton. Knocked away there, Atchison. Ground level into Vong. But, uh, well, he was dispossessed from the ball, and it looks like someone's in trouble out there too from Thompson. Landing a little awkwardly after that tackle on uh, into Vong. Picking up the rubber man. is the rubber man in Andrew Atchison. And he may have hurt a left wrist, I'd suggest. Burns does the ruck work here at half back from that throw in. Not much support at ground level. Going in pretty hard, Sean O'Leary. Support there was from, uh, that could have been Loughton, was it? Camarado, it was. As we see now, opportunity there for Wolfenden. Cool in the crisis, gave it to. Peacock, who kicks to the centre of the ground. Good knock away there, Ferguson from Tucker. Now the ball's gone right back to centre-half forward uh, for the suburbs. Great tackle again, Peters on Peacock. But the ball spills to Bradley, who's Good been kick. busy. Lovely pass and finds Marty Rowan. He wastes no time. Looks up the ground to Humphreys in front of Bailey, but Bailey rises to the occasion, knocks the football away. Now Rowan's followed on his second effort OK, but great pressure there, Dean Watson, for the Eagles. Comes in rather hard and knocks the ball over the line and out of bounds. A good 60 metres now from the Thompson goal. And uh, they enjoy a four-pointed lead over the suburbs uh, midway through the first quarter. 18 and a half minutes gone in this first term. Reuter from the back gets it down towards Sean O'Leary. R Rowan's there also. Tr Tucker and O'Leary. They leave it behind. Played for the mark there. Played for the free kick there. O'Leary didn't get it. Kick out of the pack. Comes towards Intervong and Marcus. Falls into the wards. Uh, Intervong once again. Can get around Wilkins and get the kick away towards centre-half forward. Leading out in the race. Oh, and it fell past him was Peacock. Wolfenden's back there. Leaves it behind Peters. He gets wrapped up front on. Loses a footy. It's at half forward for Eastern Suburbs. Over the top. Wolfenden again tries to tap with the advantage of Stein. Comes back to Camarado. Pretty good in these situations. Usually the banana. Can he put it back in? He's just missed to the near side. And one behind his third. Well, great play. Great commitment there was from uh, Shorty Peters. Road, the very good tackle from Jason Stein and, uh, well, Camarado obviously uh, got the wrong boots on today. Three points from him. Wolfenden brings the ball back into play. Finds Dan Fanny now at uh, half back. Wastes no time. Brings it to the members' side. Good looking care. for Stevie Ardo. Great disposal. Hits Ardo on the chest now. at centre wing. Members' side of the ground. Goes back into the corridor <laughs> to the right into the middle of St Albans Reserve and hits Stevie Sherwell. Sherwell now gets up. Looks down the ground. He's looking for Bradley. Makes good position. The young fella couldn't take the mark. Good work there was from Sean O'Leary. Taps it loosely across half back. Dangerous play because Armstrong now comes in for Thompson. Kicks it quickly up to the uh, full forward position. McFarlane, who hasn't had a touch as yet, grabs the ball, but he's wrapped up by Bailey. He paddles it forward. Good Good support there, Sean O'Leary, and he's happy to see the ball go over the line and out of bounds. Good 60 metres from Thompson's goal. Scoreboard check, the GDFL Raiders Bingo Centre. First quarter scoreboard, Thompson 2-2-14, suburbs at 1-5-11. Bad to throw in, Tucker to do the ruck work for Thompson. Reuter from the back, and Ferguson's up there as well. Ferguson goes with Tucker in the end. For, Tucker gets it down, two-handed. Marcus got one high, no free kick. Working in there, Ardo coming in a bit late there with Shane Bailey. And it's going to be a free kick. And uh, Cameron has to wake up a bit in the, uh, the umpiring stakes there because Flowers caught him in and he didn't come, but it comes towards Sherwell now. Kick off the ground in towards Marty Rowan. Leads Stefanovski to the ball. Stefanovski, though, got some support. Watson wants to see it through and concedes the behind. And it's rushed for Thompson. 2-3-15. Isn't so it's 1-5-11. 
GDFL Raiders bingo centre first quarter scoreboard. Cameron has to wake up. I think he might have went to Lyric at 3 o'clock last night. <laughs> <laughs> Slow on the uptake. There he was. We like to get stuck into him. Sheridan from fullback. Asked to kick in, so he does. 65 metres towards Reuter and Ferguson. Middle. Over the back. Ardo's the only small man there, and he's for Thompson. Peters makes up a bit of ground. Breaks the tackle. Steve Ardo on the right boot around the corner. Good kick. Spud Highland. Nobody on him. He takes the mark. Plays on quickly. Gives it to Aaron Bradley. Going to back himself. He's at 40 now. Should kick the goal. Poor kick off the boot. Falls in towards uh, Rowan. And Rowan takes the mark. He could build up good team football there, Steve Ardo. And uh, an opportunity here for the youngster, Marty Rowan. Plays on now, only short distance from goal. He's on a bit of an angle. I think you'll find he's just waltzed around and popped it through. Poor defensive football from the suburbs, allowing him to do that. And Marty Rowan kicks his first, and uh, Thompson doing very well into the breeze in this first quarter. Yep. 3 3 21. Eastern suburbs 1 5 11. It's, 11. it's 10 points of difference. GDFL Raiders bingo centre. First quarter scoreboard. Peter, are you awake down there? I certainly am. You're enjoying the uh, festivities here, are you? Oh, it's a lovely day. <laughs> He's listening to Richmond. How are the Tigers going? I was just trying to check so I could give you an update, and I can't pick it up. OK, well, we'll get back to you in a minute. OK. Wilkins gets it down to Burns. He's legged. No free kick. Comes out towards Tucker. Good pick up by the big man. He does well. Gives it a fanning. Running off the halfback flank. Sabuli Armstrong has seen a lot of the footy. Goes towards centre-half forward. Highland. Oh, in there, Ardo runs away. Steve Ardo backs himself. Pretty pacey. Can he kick the goal? Yes! Great Steve job. Steve Ardo. Tigers looking pretty good early stages in this first semi-final and a great finisher is Steve Ardo and uh, a lot of purpose and a lot of urgency about Trevor Tucker's game this afternoon also since coming on at that 10 minute mark of the first quarter and uh, we hopefully get a report at quarter time from uh, the Thompson bench on Mark Cowns. GDFL Raiders bingo centre first quarter scoreboard Thompson Four goals, 3.27 lead, Eastern Suburbs, one five eleven. Time check shows, 24 minutes gone. In back in the middle, Gardner, Burns, Burns, shuffles it out to Tucker, <laughs> shuffles it out, goes towards full forward, McFarlane pushes Hill away, coming out, Humphrey falls back towards McFarlane again, and Bailey, McFarlane over the top, no free kick, Pack develops, the umpire will come in and bounce it. It's about 35 metres out from Thompson's goal, and the crucial centre breaks at the moment, from Burns and Gardner. Yeah, teaming very well, and uh, Pat Burns having a real blinding first quarter. Tucker got it down to Sherwell, under pressure. Working hard there was Evans for the suburbs. Pretty congested at the minute. The ball comes out wide now. Stefanowski lost it. Rowan now picks it up, screws the ball back on his left foot, but I think he's missed everything. And it's out of bounds. Left forward pocket. And Thompson men, into attack. Yes, but men, just a bit of an update. Richmond are down by 15 points against Melbourne. Mm. Go uh, Demons. St. Joey's are <laughs> beating Leopold two goals. And another game in the Ballerine. That's Anglesey and Queenscliff. Anglesey seven points up on Queenscliff. Thanks very much, Peter Walker, as Daniel Fanning takes a great clips catch on that outer side of the ground. Drive ball up to the teeth of goal. Humphrey unselfishly paddles the ball out, but uh, his teammate couldn't get uh, clean possession. Great defensive football there from the suburbs. Sees the ball out of bounds, right forward pocket. It's around about 25 metres from the Thompson goal, who enjoy a 16-point lead over the suburbs. Boundary throwing Tucker, plucks it out of the ruck, goes to the left boot, wobbly kick, and can't push it through for anything but a behind. And they go to 4-4-28. Thompson, Eastern Suburbs, 1-5-11, kicking with the aid of a slight breeze in this first term. GDFL Raiders, bingo centre. First quarter scoreboard. Now, kick in by Stefanowski's OK to Hill on 50. Member side. Measures the pass towards Sheehan. It's OK. Can he take the mark? No, he can't. He's got Ferguson in support, though. Ferguson's kick partly smothered. Goes towards Marcus. He's got Bailey in support. Gives it to him very slowly, though. Sets up Shane Bailey. Gets his kick away, though. Oh, a bit soft. Down the field. Going to be Intervongs. Pretty committed there, Trevor Tucker, at the footy. And really couldn't stop, but Intervong. It's got the free kick in the middle of St. Albans Reserve. Goes towards Loughton and Atchison. Atchison just, Atchison just gets a, uh, a hand to it. Camerado, slick hands to Mick O'Leary. Pretty good in this situation. Mick O'Leary goes towards Stevenson, getting it away. It's Elliott. And he's got a bit of time now. He's got Highland loose at halfback. Can he find him with a kick? Sputter makes up a bit of ground. He does well and takes the mark. O'Leary does very well to hold him up. Yeah, good play, Sean yeah. O'Leary. He would have played on to Sabuli Armstrong had he been let go. 
Wolfenden's lose though too and Suburbs not checking their uh, opponents but there is an opportunity uh, Eugene Marcus cops one a little bit high there from Bradley as he kicked the footy spoken to by the umpire and the relay free kick down the ground will be taken by Sean O'Leary who's at left half forward and will drive the Eagles into attack oh, kicks into the man on the mark Armstrong who stood there Oh, you can't get over that unfortunately Savuli he has scooped that up <laughs> and it will be a free kick to Eastern Suburbs. It looks like uh, O'Leary or Camarotto. Oh, I don't think he meant to actually scoop it up that far. I think he meant to tap it, but just not that far in the air. But, uh, well, let's just see if the banana can kick it straight. Well, I'll tell you what, if he walks in at quarter time to the huddle with four behinds, he won't be very happy with himself, I can tell you that. He's kicked three at so far. He's had a couple of set shots. He's kicking from uh, 35, 40 metres out, 45 degree angle. And a chance to bring the margin back. Camarado. Oh, poor kick off the boot too. Wobbles and out of bounds on the full. Mmm. Mmm. So, Thompson with the free kick in the last line of defence. That's Wolfenden, who's seen plenty of the footy in this first term. Goes towards half back, big pack fly. Highland at the fall of the ball does extremely well and breaks away takes a bounce loses the footy though then good recovery by himself handball out to Aaron Bradley Three. takes a bounce gets a shepherd from Burns goes towards half forward now Ferguson and Tucker Watson Tucker's got to make up a bit of ground against Watson and Watson gets there but he's gone back 25 metres and he's hustled out of it by Tucker who does extremely well gives it off to Humphrey and it's one on one now McFarlane and Hill Hill attacks McFarlane behind can he pick it up yes he can McFarlane usually pretty good but poor kick in this situation should have given it off. Hindsight's a wonderful thing. It is. <laughs> and Tucker, extremely good work there against two or three Eagles. Persisted yeah. well. He did. Leading the way, Trevor Tucker, on that occasion. But it's out of bounds on the full. Andy Hill with it. In the right back pocket for the Eagles. Can go long to 50. Reuter, Tucker, Ferguson, two on one. Oh, Sheridan in the end. Sheridan takes a good mark at half back. Needs something at half forward. Loughton gives him one. They've got Armstrong and Atchison going up towards... Well, and Peter! Oh, there it is again, the short man! Great mark. <laughs> one in every game, Shorty Peters. And he's taking it on centre wing. If he, Ronnie, you'd be pretty happy with that, wouldn't yeah, you? It's a great mark <laughs> and a lovely kick too. It's hit the run of uh, Camarado and right up at centre wing. This time kicks long up there looking for O'Leary. Good mark, not paid. He didn't quite control it. Stein under pressure. Got it out there to the direction of Atchison, but Loughton stole it. Back to uh, Mick O'Leary. He was all wrapped up. Umpires letting proceedings go. Pack of players have formed at left half forward. Suburbs into attack and we see a change. Yeah, it's Gimmel for Watson. Gemmel's on for Watson. Sheridan makes up a bit of ground to be at the, the ruck contest. Wilkins up. Gardner gets it away. Highland. Highland now. A bit of time at half back. Takes two bounces. Draws Peters. Goes with the right boot now towards Sherwell. But there's the siren. And it is quarter time in the first semi-final of the 1998 Geelong District Football League. Finals. And at, at quarter time it is Thompson. 4-4-28. They lead Eastern Suburbs 1-5-11 by 17 points at the first change. The goal kick is to quarter time for Thompson. Marty Rowan, Steve Ardo, Rick Humphrey and Mark Cowan have one each for Thompson while their single goal kicker for Eastern Suburbs is Brent Loughton. And it's 17 points the difference. Now Peter Walker's going out to listen to Thompson. Paul Welsh uh, hopefully will be going to Eastern Suburbs to listen to them this afternoon. OK, interesting quarter of footy and uh, I think you'll find that the uh, Pat Burns has really set the pattern. And I'm also going to mention Aaron Bradley and Daniel Fanning had a lot of the football in that first quarter. Also, Sir Burley Armstrong, very strong in defence for the Tigers. Good to see young Intervong have a lot of the ball in that first quarter. I thought he was the suburb's best player. Sandal. The, the, Sandal the Sandal man. Very well supported by Loughton, who I think is on top of Atchison in that uh, centre-half forward position. Eugene, uh, Eugene Marcus, he's done well midfield and across half back, being a ruck rover for the Eagles. And uh, I'll mention Shane Bailey, who's bounced back from uh, a quiet afternoon the week before's final. He's had a little bit of it as well. But all in all, Thompson just with a little bit more passion for the ball across midfield. 
And as I mentioned, Pat Burns, he's really set them up. And he's created. making more of their, their opportunities, aren't they, really? They probably haven't had that much more of the football, but they just uh, seem to be finishing off a little bit better. Another tiger I have omitted to mention was, of course, the 24 Guernsey. Steve Nardo, who... Uh, he's pretty quick, isn't he? He's exceptionally fast, and uh, like when you're going that quick and then still be able to cap off with a fine goal, as he did, he kicked 1-1 for the term. Uh, the suburbs are really going to have to try and find someone like a Dean Watson, who's a bit fleet-footed, to pick him up and uh, man him. So uh, it'll be interesting to see what uh, changes are made at quarter time with uh, the coaches. I think uh, Adam Sheridan has got a few problems because, uh, as you mentioned uh, in your preview, Jason, from the centre of the ground, it was probably worth two goals. So they're trailing now by three, so it's an effectively a five-goal deficit at quarter time. We'll just see how accurate you are at half-time, Jason. But we saw it last week, though, that teams did work a little bit harder against the wind. And I think it happened last week. It might have happened in that first term. We probably won't know until we find out at half-time. But just uh, some might rest on their laurels a bit and say, oh, well, the wind's worth a couple of goals. It'll help us, uh, you know, work hard with the wind. And uh, you can't do it in this standard of football, unfortunately. Certainly. I meant to uh, mention two, uh, many happy returns, too, for uh, Daniel Fanning. 25th birthday yesterday, so I'm sure he will... Uh, Friday. It was Friday, in fact. He's catching so, up uh, on me, too. Thank God.